we are now going to learn how to use the solver add-in in order to be able to maximize the profit for a stereo store. So the verbal problem indicates that a stereo store sells three brands of stereo system, brands A, B, and C. They can sell a total of 100 stereo systems per month. Brands A, B, and C take up 5, 4, and 4 cubic feet of warehouse space with a maximum of 480 cubic feet available. They generate sales commissions of 40, 20, and $30 respectively with a maximum of $3,200 available to pay the sales commissions. And finally, the profit generated by these brands of stereos is $70, $210, and $140, respectively. So the very first thing we would like to do is to put all the information in a little table so we can summarize that. So for the number of systems, we put down one for A, one for brand B, and one for brand C just so we can set up our inequality constraints with the total of 100 available, which would mean we're going to have a less than or equal to constraint. For the space, we put in the 5, 4, and 4 cubic feet that A, B, and C take up with a maximum of 480 cubic feet available. For the commission, we put in the $40, the $20, and the $30 that they generate for each of the stereo systems with a maximum of $3,200 available. And because we want to maximize the profit, we put in the fact that stereo system A generates a $70 profit, system B generates a $210 profit, and system C generates a $140 profit. Now we're going to write the inequality constraints. So for our variables, we're going to use A to represent the number of stereo systems of brand A that are sold, B for the brand B, and C for brand C. Now writing our equations for the objective function, we want to maximize the profit. So the maximum profit would be 70 times A plus 210 times B plus 140 times C. Subject to our constraints, we have three different constraints. For the number of systems sold, we have A plus B plus C must be less than or equal to 100. For the amount of space that they occupy in the warehouse, we have 5 times A plus 4 times B plus 4 times C has to be less than or equal to the 480 cubic feet that are available. And finally, for the commission, we have 40A plus 20B plus 30C has to be less than or equal to the $3,200 that are available to pay the commissions. Lastly, we have to put in the trivia constraints because we cannot sell a negative number of stereo systems. So A, B, and C all have to be greater than or equal to zero. So in order to be able to set up our system for the solver, we first have to put down the initial value of A is 0, B is 0, C is 0. For the objective function, now we put down the numerical coefficients. And notice I tried to put everything on the same row so it's easier to see what I'm doing. We have a $70 profit for A, $210 for B, and a $140 profit for C. Skipping down to the um, constraints, we put 1 for A, 1 for B, 1 for C, and now we put in the fact that 100 is the maximum number of stereo systems that can be sold for the space that it occupies, a 5 for A, a 4 for B, a 4 for C, and again, 480 cubic feet of space that is available. For the commission, we put down the 40 for system A, 20 for system B, 30 for system C, and the $3,200, which is the amount that is available to pay the commissions. Lastly, we put down three rows for the trivial constraints. Since A is there, we have the one for the A, zero for both B and C, greater than or equal to zero. For B is greater than zero, we put the zero for A, one for B, zero for C, zero. And lastly, for C, we put the 0 for A, 0 for B, 1 for C, and the 0. 
The next thing we have to do is write our equations. So for the equations, we go to the maximum column because we want to maximize the profit. And this is the cell where the maximum profit hopefully will appear. In order to be able to find the value of the objective function, we're setting up our formula. We press equals. So we have 70 times the value of A. Let's try that again. 70 times the value of A. And we want that A fixed cell. So we press the F4 button. Or on the Mac, you go to the Compose T plus the 210 times the value of B. Again, that has to be a fixed cell plus the 140 times the value of C. And again, that has to be a fixed cell because the values for A, B, and C are going to be copied for all of these <coughs> subsequent equations. All right, we press Enter. And now we're going to copy this particular formula. Remember, go to the lower right-hand side where the plus is, click down, and you will notice that all the numbers are there. When you click on that, you see you have 1 times A plus 1 times B plus 1 times C. Let's go to one more. Again, 40 times A plus 20 times B plus 30 times C. Now we want to solve this particular objective function. So we go to Data. We go to our Solver. And for a Mac, you may have to go to Insert. And I want to be able to reset everything so it's a clean sheet. And the first thing we want to be able to do is put down the objective function. And this is where the objective function value is. We want to maximize. We want to change the values of the A, B, and C. So we scroll through the A, B, and C where the zeros are. Subject to the constraints. And we're going to add the constraints in. All right, let's put it so you can see it. And therefore, for the first situation, the system constraint, we have the equation here 0 is going to be less than or equal to the 100. Next, we have the space constraint. We have 0 is less than or equal to the 480. Add in the commission constraint, we have the 0 is less than or equal to the 3,200. And now we're going to go to the contrivial constraint. The 0 has to be greater than or equal to 0. The B has to be, again, greater than or equal to 0. And finally, the C has to be greater than or equal to 0. Once we have all the constraints, we can press OK. And now we are going to view this particular sheet. Notice that the J column is the values at the end. The K column is where we have the equations. So we have all the Ks on the left and the Js on the right. We have 10 and 11 and 9, which are the rows that were less than, the 10, the 11, and the 9. And we have the 12, the 13, and the 14 are the greater than. And you notice we have the greater than there. We are going to the simplex method. And now we want to solve this. So we're ready to press Solve. Let me bring this up so you can see it. And we have our solution right here. And we want to keep the solver solution. So according to this, we are only going to sell brand B. Doing that, we're going to make $21,000 in profit. Notice if we sell 100 of brand B, the first constraint is 100. The second would be 400 for the space. Notice we're using less than what's available. We are using less commission than what's available. And then we have only B is there. If you would like to sell some of each one, let's say we want to sell 10 of A, 10 of B of C, and let's say only 80 of that, you notice that the numbers turn out to be different. Again, we have 100, the 410, the 2300. So those are the numbers that are available. And you can always play with it based upon what you have. 
We're going to go back to the original numbers here that we got from Solver. And we notice there is a difference now again of the profit, but you again can think in terms of this, play with this, and see how your profit can be maximized given the fact that you might want to send, sell all three brands of the stereo system.